Well, hi there. Welcome back to Geek and Sun. What are we doing? Get this big black truck here. And apparently you're supposed to change the oil. Or the all? How do you say that? This here's a funnel because it's fun. Here, hold the light. You can shine it on people. <laughs> We're in here. I gotta scoop my way in here. Even though, even though it's on the ramps, I still have to. I waited for it to cool down long enough, I think. Right chair is the engine oil drain plug. And we got the oil filter. I usually like um, all Mobile One, pretty brand loyal um, with Mobile One. You can use whatever oil you like. This is a um, 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD 6.0 gas gasoline engine. My dad and I aren't really a big fan of the uh, what do you call them, uh, diesels. So what I'm gonna try to do is when I take this uh, thing off, I'm gonna hurry and put the funnel right there and go because I've had it splash in my face more than once. And it's not fun to clean up. This really is not fun. So in fact, before I do anything, I'm gonna leave the camera recording and I will go grab a, um, I'm gonna do a grab a towel just in case. So I actually used to work at an oil chain shop. I'm not gonna say the name because we're not sponsored by them. So last time it shot out like a lot. So I'm gonna count on that this time when I take this out. I'm gonna go like this and go Meh, and get it to drain straight down. So here on this bolt down here, it's gonna be a 15 millimeter metric size. I have it on a half inch ratchet. Now that I have that on there, it feels kind of loose. It's all right. And then all I, all I gotta do, breaker free. And then, oh, I thought I could do it with my hands. Almost. Actually, I can. Yep, here we go. So, you can already see some oil start to pull out. If it did what the Renegade truck did, it'll go boom, right towards the camera. <laughs> First splash. Actually, last time I got some on my face. Watch the pro. Whoops. Wrong way. Here we go. It's about to get real. Who's ready? Here we go. I still got it everywhere, even though I purposely tried not to get it everywhere. Okay. It's terrible. Okay, I think this is full synthetic too. I don't think it's as bad as the last time, but it's still pretty bad. It's getting on my face. It's okay. I'm very good. That's what's important. So, oil spotter is everywhere. It's okay. We're all good. Well, there you go. We're looking at it, so. Recording this. It'll be fun to watch on video. So now the next part of my plan is to take off Mr. Dreaded oil filter. So now what I'm doing is I'm actually taking the uh, drain plug cleaning off a little bit. What I like to do with these, if I can find the tool I just had. That would be important. Where did I put it? Oh, man. Okay. I like to take these. Sometimes I have a fancy tool for this. Look at that. Just boop. Just take it off of there. It's 
threat it on there live, actually. Come on, baby. There we go. There she goes. So now, I take some towels. And clean up in here. My dad was saying, well, how do you know that all the oil is going to drain out? I'm like, well, look at the angle that it's at. It guarantees that all of it will come out when it's at this angle. There could possibly be a little bit of it right here. That makes sense. I like to get the rag up in here and clean it off all nice. Make sure she's nice and clean. Then I put the drain plug back in. People think changing their own oil is the most difficult thing in the world. Actually, very easy. Just terrifies a lot of people for some reason. There we go. And I like to tighten it back on nice and good. I do about hand tight and then run a quarter turn perfectly on there. And we got the Mobile One. Extended performance, high mileage. Protects about 20,000 miles. 20,000 miles, yeah. Between the oil changes. Very fancy. I use um, this oil and change it in the regular intervals anyway. Because I mean, you saw the color of that oil. Oh, it looks hideous. So, I'm gonna put the oil under here just to show the camera. Now, Nice semi clean rag. If there are any. This one's alright. Put this oil filter. Easier than I mean harder than all. There we go. I got it started. Yeah. Here we have the oil fill. So now we're going to grab the funnel. Adding oil, something we always say. Okay, it's the first quart. So we have the five quart jug. What I always like to do the little metal thing they put in put in here to seal off the oil always gets in the way and then you end up spilling it. So but since I am a pro, you can do it just kind of pour it on down his gullet. Then you gotta wait. Some funnels like this, it takes time. Said these just take time, so you just gotta give them at five quarts. Let me sing a song. It's taking a long time. I'm used to the other funnel. This funnel's a joke. 
Makes me five year quick fill funnel. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. That's all about. Okay. And you let for so we'll go down in there. Ta -da. Okay. So I take the funnel off and I put my oil cap back on. Dexos. That was Dexos. Now what I like to do is go verify I ain't nothing leaking. <laughs> if I put all that stuff in there. Looks fine to me. So then we start it. Me like we might need a tad bit more. Operating rate change just a little bit more. So, okay, well, thank you for watching my oil change video. Until next time, thanks for watching Geek and Sun. Thank you. Goodbye.